Marami tayong mga proving na natutunan sa mathematics. Meron tayong proving sa trigonometry using the identities. Meron din tayong natutunan na proving using uh, the method of induction or mathematical induction. Now, dito sa calculus, ang gagawin naman natin is kung paano tayo makakapag-prove ng mean value theorem using calculus. Now, ang mean value theorem, kailangan lang mag-satisfy ng dalawang conditions. At yung dalawang conditions na yun, eh, yung f of x daw, yung function mo, must be continuous on the closed interval a, b. At saka yung pangalawang condition, eh, yung uh, function f of x mo ay uh, differentiable sa open interval a, b. Tapos kung ma-satisfy mo yung dalawang conditions na yon meron daw number c or point c doon sa interval a, b such that f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a all over b minus a. Now, medyo naguluhan siguro kayo kung ano ang ibig sabihin nitong formula na to. Ibig sabihin lang ng formula na yan na meron daw point C doon sa function mo na parallel doon sa secant line na magkoconnect sa mga endpoints doon sa interval na AB. So, visually, ito yung itsura ng mean value theorem. So, given the function, so yung blue na function na to, Itong curve na to, yan yung f of x nyo. So, sinasabi sa theorem na kapag ka daw continuous at differentiable ang function mo, pwede tayo makahanap ng uh, number c na nandun sa interval a, b na parallel doon sa mga peaks na yan. So, ito ulit yung f of x o yung function nyo. Tapos, ito yung interval nyo na a and b. Tapos pag kinonect mo yung interval na A and B na yan, magkakaroon ka syempre ng line. Tapos yung line na yan ay magiging equal daw or parallel doon sa slope noong mga number C nyo, Which is basically yung um, peak or yung curvature doon sa graph nung function nyo. So ito yung mga C's na hahanapin natin later on. So madaling hanapin yung mga point C kapag meron tayong graph. So itong graph na to, alam natin na itong graph na to ay eh, continuous kasi hindi wala siyang break at alam, alam din natin siya na differentiable kasi smooth curve yung function natin. So connect mo yung dot na to, hanap ka ng peak dito na yung upper and the lower na pagka kinuha mo yung line nila will be parallel dun sa secant line mo. So, ito yung graphical display mo ng mean value theorem. Now, paano naman natin gagamitin yung uh, calculus or paano natin mapapakita itong mean value theorem na to kung uh, given lang tayo ng function, hindi natin nakikita yung graph. So, yun yung magiging example natin. So, bago tayo makapag-prove ng mean value theorem, dapat alam nyo muna kung para saan yung uh, uh, theorem na ito. So, again, satisfy nyo yung dalawang conditions. Pag na-satisfy yung dalawang conditions, which is continuous and differentiable, hanapin mo yung point C doon sa function. So, mag-umpisa tayo doon sa simpleng uh, function lang. So, let's verify if f of x satisfy the mean value theorem. Then, pag na-satisfy mo daw yung mean value theorem, hanapin naman natin or find all the number C or point C for that particular function. Now, ang function na gagamitin natin is f of x is equal to x squared on the closed interval 0, 2. Now, alam natin na yung x squared ay parabola. So, alam natin lahat yan. So, pag ginraph natin yung parabola, ito yung itsura ng parabola nyo, which is yung function na ginagamit natin na gagamitin natin na, or isasatisfy daw natin yung mean value theorem para dito sa function na to. So, to satisfy yung first two conditions, kailangan daw continuous siya sa open or sa closed interval na AB at saka differentiable siya. So, ito yung AB nyo, 0 at saka yung 2. So, mapapansin nyo na smooth curve yung function from A to B. So, therefore, masasatisfy nyo na yung dalawang conditions. So, yung function nyo ay continuous doon sa AB at differentiable din siya doon sa AB. So, therefore, nasatisfy natin or nasagot na natin yung first na tanong na kailangan daw masatisfy yung mean value theorem. Now, Kailangan naman natin ngayon isanapin yung number C o yung point C na kung saan magiging parallel siya dun sa secant line ng dalawang endpoint kapag kakinonek nyo. So, visually, um, hahanapin nyo daw yung C. Hindi natin alam kung yung ang C ay nandito ba, nandito ba, nandito ba, or kung ano dito sa point na to ang magkakaroon ng parallel line or uh, yeah, parallel line doon sa interval AB mo. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. Gagamitin natin yung formula na binigay ko kanina dun sa example or dun sa um, explanation ko. So, 
according to the mean value theorem, theorem f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a all over b a. So yung f of b nyo at f of a nyo, isubstitute nyo lang yung a and b dun sa function para makuha nyo yung mga numerical values na yun. So inorganize ko na yung mga um, variables na kailangan natin para mahanap yung form or magamit yung formula na to. So yung f of a nyo, will be f of 0, dahil yung a nyo is 0, at yung function nyo is x squared, kaya 0 squared is equal to 0. Therefore, f of a is equal to 0. Tapos yung f of b nyo naman, na kailangan din sa formula, will be f of 2, kasi 2, 2 yung b nyo, then x squared, which is 2 squared, is equal to 4. So to organize your values, yung letter a nyo is 0, b is 2, f of a is 0, and f of b is equal to 4, na gagamitin natin sa formula para makuha natin yung f prime of c. So, ang f prime of c nyo is equal to 4 minus 0, which is f of b minus f of a, all over 2 minus 0, which is b minus a. So, therefore, f prime of c using the formula for the mean value theorem is equal to 4 over 2 or simply 2. So, nakuha na natin yung f prime of c which is equal to 2. Pero, hindi pa natin nakukuha yung c. So, hindi pa tapos yung... Um, solution natin. So, dun sa next slide, papakita ko naman sa inyo kung paano naman hanapin yung point C na kailangan natin para mahanap yung um, point na parallel doon sa secant line na mapuform pag kinunek nyo si A and B. So, ito yung paghanap ng C. So, again, yung function natin is f of x is equal to x squared which is yung parabola on the closed interval 0, 2. Yung f prime of x natin, which is yung derivative ng function, is 2x. At yung f prime of c natin na nakuha natin using the formula from the previous slide is equal to 2. Now, para mahanap nyo yung c, equate nyo lang si f prime of x tsaka si f prime of c. So, you have 2x equal to 2, which is x equals 1. So, therefore, yung 1 na yan, eh, pwede nyo rin gamitin c is equal to 1 kasi ito na yung point na hinahanap natin na magiging parallel daw dun sa secant line na magko-connect doon sa 0 and 2. So, going back to our graph, this is your parabola. So, yung parabola nyo may interval dito na a and b which is 0 and 2. Pag kinunek nyo yung 0 and 2 na yan using a ruler or a straight edge, ito yung line nya. So, yung line na yan magiging parallel daw siya doon sa point c na nahanap natin which is equal to 1. So, pag ito yung equal to 1 nyo, yung, pagka, yung C nyo, kapag kinunek nyo siya at gumawa ka ng tangent line doon sa point C na yun, mapapansin nyo na parallel yung secant line nyo sa interval na 0, 2 at doon sa tangent line nyo doon sa C na nahanap natin using the formula. So, therefore, nasatisfy natin yung mean value theorem at isa pa, nakuha, ni, nakuha rin natin yung C or point C na magsasatisfy doon sa theorem. So, therefore, the secant line at points 0, 0 and 2, 4, which is these two points right here, is parallel to the tangent line at point C, which is at 1, 1. So, yan yung pag-prove noong mean value theorem. Now, um, kung medyo komplikado pa yung uh, pag-prove using the mean value theorem, kuha pa tayo ng isa pang example para mas maunawaan nyo kung paano gamitin yung mean value theorem sa pag-prove um, ng isang uh, um, function. So, we're just still gonna use the same procedure, um, verify yung condition 1 and 2, and then pag na-verify nyo yung conditions 1 and 2, you need to find the point or value of C where it will be parallel doon sa secant line doon sa interval na A and B. So, ito yung bagong function natin. f of x is equal to the square root of x at kailangan natin masatisfy um, yung mean value theorem at interval 1 and 9. So, alam natin na ang graph ng square root of x e eh, ito. So, yung interval nyo na 1 and 9, 1 and 9, ito yung mga points niya, kailangan natin yung hanapin yung point C na kung saan magiging parallel siya doon sa line na magkoconnect sa A and B. So, based dito sa graph natin, sa graphical display natin, na prove na natin yung, or na-satisfy na natin yung conditions 1 and 2. So, yung first step, na masatisfy yung mean value theorem, f of x, which is square root of x, is differentiable and continuous at 1, 9 based on the graph. Therefore, the mean value theorem is satisfied. Now that the mean value theorem is satisfied, now we need to find the value C or point C na kung saan magiging parallel yung secant line natin doon sa A and B. So, same procedure. A is 1, B is 9 from the given. F of A is 1. 
substitute 1 and 9 dun sa function, and f of b is equal to 3. Using yung formula to find f prime of c, which is f of b minus f of a all over b minus a, we found out that f prime of c is equal to 1 fourth. Medyo na bura. 1 fourth. So, ngayon nakuha na natin si f prime of c, which is 1 fourth, kailangan naman natin hanapin si c. So, to find c, you need to equate f prime of x at saka yung f prime of c. So, yung continuation natin, yung f of x mo is equal to the square root of x. Kailangan naman natin yung f prime of x, which is derivative ng f of x, is 1 over 2 square root of x. At kanina, na-solve natin ng f prime of c is equal to 1 fourth. Now, to find the value of c, equate nyo lang si f prime of x and f prime of c, we have 1 over 2 square root of x is equal to 1 fourth. Now, mapapansin nyo, medyo complex or complicated yung ating um, function. So, kailangan nyo lang ng uh, alalahanin yung uh, algebra skill nyo kung paano nyo ma-isolate si x. So, solving for x lang yung kailangan natin gawin. And to do this, maraming techniques or strategies na pwede natin gawin. So, ang ginawa ko dito, I need to the value of x. So, kailangan ko i Tanggalin si 2. To do that, I need to multiply both sides by 2. And by doing that, I have 1 over square root of x equals 1 half. So medyo simply na yung function natin. Now, ratio and proportion to solve for the value of x. x is simply square root of x equal to 2. Pagka kinos, multiply nyo siya. So therefore, ang x natin will be equal to 4. At yan yung c na hinahanap natin dun sa mean value theorem. So therefore, pag ninraph natin yung ating function mula dun sa... Um, previous slide, ito yung graph nung um, f of x, which is square root of x. Tapos ito yung interval nyo, which is 1 and 9. Kapag kinonek nyo yung interval nyo, magkakaroon ka ng secant line. At yung c value nyo will be the point that will be parallel to that secant line. So yung c nyo, which is equal to 4, will be this point right here. At kapag ka gumawa kayo ng point or tangent line, dyan sa point na yan, parallel siya doon sa inyong line or secant line doon sa interval AB. Therefore, na-satisfy nyo yung mean value theorem at nahanap nyo rin yung C. So, there's a point C which is 4 and 2 which lies on the closed interval 1, 9 satisfying the mean value theorem. 